All right, y'all. What's up, guys? Um, so since you know the NFL playoffs are set, the bracket set, and everything, today I'm going to be doing my um, NFL playoff predictions. Um, now later in the week I'll probably reveal who I'm going to be rooting for out of all the playoff teams that's now and the you know the playoffs and stuff. You know, maybe I'll do it in this video. I don't know, but I'll probably do it later this week because um, I know some of y'all might be curious or something. I don't know, but I'll probably reveal that later in the week. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, tell me in the comment section or in the chat, since this is a premiere, um, who you, um, are rooting for the guests in the playoffs and who do you think will win, um, or go, at least go to the Super Bowl, um, yeah, I'm excited for some of these games, um, I can't wait, uh, I'll always love watching the NFL playoffs, definitely my favorite time of year when it comes to the NFL, um, you know, um, yeah, so let's get to the predictions. So we have on the AFC side, 4C Tennessee, 5C Baltimore, 3C Pittsburgh, and 6C Cleveland, 2C Buffalo, and 7C Minneapolis. And of course, the number 1C Kansas City has that first round bye. It has the bye, you know. Uh, and then on the NFC side, we have 4 Washington, 5 Tampa Bay, 3 Seattle, 6 LA. And two New Orleans and seven Chicago and six the LA yeah the Rams you know two like you have a couple like LA teams but yeah there's your AFC side and NFC side um yeah so let's get to the predictions I guess we can start off on the um AFC side with these wild card games um uh, number four Tennessee and number five Baltimore I am looking forward to this game is I think it's gonna be a great game. A great game early in the year. Um, these two teams did match up early in the year. Tennessee did end up winning in overtime. It was a classic game, though. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, yeah. You know, I'm going to be honest here. I have not really been impressed with Baltimore this year at all. I'm going to be. I'm gonna, just going to be straight up. Now, Baltimore is kind of looking for some real revenge here. Don't forget what happened last season when Baltimore looked really good. They went into the postseason and then lost to Tennessee, you know. Tennessee made a couple upsets last season in the playoffs, you know. Um, I just have not been really impressed with them this year. They might be, or I, I really almost want to say they might be the most disappointing NFL team to me. Um, you know, so, yeah. But I think this is going to be a great game, and... Yeah, I, I'm excited for this game. Um, I am thinking about doing some full game streams for these games, or at least doing close game dream, streams, excuse me, or at least a second half stream. I probably will at least do a full game stream for one of these games. And yeah, I will do. I will be doing streams. At, at my least, gonna be doing streams for some of these games. Um, yeah. But anyways, this is gonna be a great game. I'm definitely looking forward to this. But um, you know what? Give me Tennessee in this one. Give me Tennessee. Um, I really do like him in this game. Um, I really do. All right, let's see. Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Now, Cleveland just came off with a win against Pittsburgh um, to clinch their first playoff there since, I believe, 2002, which is the longest drought in playoff drought in the NFL. Um, I'm very happy for them first off. Um, I'm really excited to see them in the playoff. It's going to be weird seeing them actually play in a playoff game. I, I, I have never thought to this day I would ever see them actually play in the playoffs in my life. I honestly never thought I would ever see that. I thought I would be dead by the time I, they would be in the playoffs. But hey, they're in the playoffs and I'm still alive. I, I, I can't believe that. But I'm happy for them. Congratulations to Cleveland. Very happy for them. I'm honestly, I think they deserve it. They got a good team this year. And same goes with Pittsburgh, you know. I mean, as annoying as they are with the TikTok dances and all that crap, as annoying as they are, they, I mean, I, I have respect for them, to be honest with you. Like, if I'm going to be straight up honest with you, um, Pittsburgh is actually my third favorite team in the NFL. Like, if I had... If I had to do a top three rankings of my favorite NFL teams, number one would be the Panthers, of course. Two Dolphins, three Pittsburgh, believe it or not. But, yeah. Um, ha I, I'm, 
happy for them too, you know. This is going to be a great game. I'm also looking forward to this game as well. Um, but you know what? I think... I don't think this is the second game in a row they're playing against each other because they literally just played, you know, this past Sunday. Um, I think coming in this game, Pittsburgh's going to come and get the win, and I don't think they will lose to them in a second week in a row. Now, it's possible, and it wouldn't surprise me one bit, but in the end, you know, I, I honestly think this is going to be a great game. It could go either way. Cleveland could very well win this game as well. So... Um, you know, Cleveland fans, don't be upset. And honestly, it, it, it don't matter if you lose this game or win this game. Honestly, I, I don't, I, I don't want to hear any complaining. You should be thankful you're in the bus and be proud of this team. I, I'm dead serious when I say that. You should be really thankful. Honestly, you should be really proud of what this team has accomplished this year. Now, Buffalo and Indianapolis. Um. I'm telling you what, Buffalo is a scary team. Now, don't get me wrong, Colts are good too, but I'm just going to go straight up and say I think um, Buffalo is going to come in here and just get the win. Um, I think, now, is it possible that, you know, freaking Indianapolis can win? Yes, but I just, Buffalo is a good team, and I'm a big believer in them. All right. And... Yeah, let's move on to the NFC side now with these wildcard games. All right. Washington and Tampa Bay. Now, Washington in the playoffs. I'm telling you what, I would before the season, and I said, I don't think I said it on the camera at all, but I said if Washington makes the playoffs, it'll be funny. The football team against whoever. Now, football team against, you know, the football team in the playoff. Jesus. So funny. I am rooting for them, by the way. In this game, without a doubt, you know, um, obviously, the happy for them, happy for Ron Rivera. Um, I believe he did surpass and you know beat the cancer that he had, but that guy was a fighter. He literally led this team to the playoffs, winning the division, fight and all through the season, coaching this team while he was fighting cancer. You know that he, that guy's a fighter, man. I'm proud of him. I miss the guy. I wish he was still in Charlotte. I really do miss him a lot. I wish he could have brought us a Super Bowl. He was a great head coach, though. Um, I, I love the guy, and I miss him. I'm hoping he can come back to Charlotte and do something for the Panthers, whether it's like being an owner or come up, come back on the coaching staff or something. I really do miss him. I miss him a lot. Um, I want him to come back to Charlotte and do at least something for the Panthers. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, so Tampa Bay, you know, they're in the playoffs after a long time as well. And this is another team that I honestly never thought I would see make the playoffs. I thought it would be dead or 80 years old or 70 years old or something. I thought hey, it would be a long time till I even possibly even see them or I'd probably even be dead if they were even going to make the playoffs. But hey, they're in the playoffs, so it's going to be weird seeing them in. Um, but the one player on that team that won't be see that won't be weird seeing him in the playoffs again, Tom Brady. Again, what do you expect? I mean... Uh, honestly, he, 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 of course, I'm not surprised seeing him in the playoffs. It's just weird seeing the overall Tampa Bay in the playoffs, you know. Um, not going to lie, the fans have been kind of annoying this year, thinking they're going to win a Super Bowl, um, you know. And, I mean, they can, who knows, but we'll see what happens. Um, overall, I got Tampa Bay winning this, though. I'm hoping, now, I do have a bad feeling this could become a blowout. But I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping Washington can at least keep it close. I'm hoping that at least they can win, too. We'll see what happens, though. But, yeah, I got Tampa Bay winning this. Seattle and L.A. Now, I think this could be a good game. L.A. Could, is going to give them a fight. Um, Rams, they're not a terrible team. I mean, they just came off a game with John Wolford. Um, quarterback, I know this kid. Um, he, I've met him before. Great person. He, he played quarterback at Wake Forest. I forgot to see him play in a Wake jersey before. Great player, great quarterback. He actually did pretty good for L.A. this past Sunday, not going to lie. Um, but I do think L.A. is going to keep it a fight. But in the end, I do have Seattle winning this, Russell Wilson. They look like, the great, they, they look like a great team. They've looked like, honestly, a decent team all year, to be straight up honest with you. Um yeah, but I do have Seattle winning this. 
New Orleans and Chicago. Now, these two teams didn't meet each other earlier in the year. Um, they met each other earlier in the year. Um, and it was a great game. I believe I'm in the overtime with New Orleans winning this, sadly. Now, Chicago, if you win this game, you would just brighten me up. I can't stand the Saints. Y'all know me. Um, you probably, if, if you haven't watched me, if you've watched, if you've watched me for at least a good amount of time, for like a year or something, or half a year or something like that, then you know. If you watched me ever since I started, then you know this. Obviously, you should. But if you've at least watched me for a year, or at least half a year, or something, then you should at least know I hate the Saints. And if you know me for a long time, you know, then you know how much I hate this team with a passion. I can't stand the Saints, especially as a Panthers fan. I do have a couple of Saints fans who do watch my channel, and they're pretty nice. But overall, New Orleans fans, they just annoy me a lot. I can't stand them. Um, so, so I'm hoping to God Chicago can come out here and get their revenge. And I think this is going to be a good game. Um, but in the end, I do... Now, now, listen. You know how New Orleans can be in the playoffs. Now, well, they're not playing the Minnesota Vikings. Still, they haven't done all that. You know, they for some reason choked to someone, but they're not playing the Vikings. So who knows? We'll have to find out. But in the end, I will... Be taking um, the Saints. Now, don't get me wrong. Chicago can very well come out and win this game as well. It wouldn't surprise me, but I do, and I will, I, but I am going to be taking the Saints. Um, yeah. Now we're in the divisional round. We got Kansas City and the Tennessee Titans. Now, um, last year, these two teams met in the playoffs. It was in the AFC Championship game. Kansas City just rolled out and absolutely on that game. Um, I feel like it possibly could be the same, but uh, it possibly could be. You know, um, we'll have to see what happens. Um, excuse me. Ow. Okay. All right, sorry. Anyways, um, it it's, could be kind of like that from last year. You know what I mean? Um, we'll have to see. Now, who knows? Maybe Tennessee could come out here and get some revenge. I don't necessarily know. You'll see. You do see sometimes some crazy upsets happening in the playoffs and stuff. We'll have to find out, though, what happens. Um, I will be taking Kansas City, though, but I'm. we'll see. Maybe they could come out here and get, some, get an upset. We'll have to see. I'm definitely excited for this game. Um, I'm hoping Tennessee could come out with a victory. That would be pretty cool. They can do that, but yeah, I didn't take it. I am taking Kansas City in this one. Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Now, this, if if this, if everything works, if, if everything, okay. All I'm saying is, if that game does happen. Wow, would that be a good game, I think. I think with the playoffs, it'll be a much better game than it was in the regular season. Now, in the regular season, Buffalo came out and absolutely owned Pittsburgh. I mean, they own Pittsburgh. Um, they own them. Um, and I don't necessarily think that's going to happen in this game. I think it's going to be a lot closer. I think Pittsburgh's going to come out with a better fight. Um, but... With that being said, I am going to be taking Buffalo with the win. So I have them moving on and going to... Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, do, let me make a duplicate of this. Duplicate. Move here. Stupid idiot. Okay. So yeah, I have Buffalo moving on. Now let's go to the NFC side. Green Bay and Tampa Bay. Now, earlier this season, these two teams did play against each other. It was at Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay came out with just a monstrous game. They owned Green Bay the entire game. And I was looking forward to that game. I thought that was going to be a great game. And it honestly disappointed me a little bit. But I'll tell you what. They own Green Bay. And... 
I I don't necessarily think that's going to happen this game. I think Green Bay now has learned this about this team. I think they have, you know, you know, understood to not take this team lightly whatsoever. Um, and I do think this is going to be a better game. And I do think Green Bay will come out with their revenge, and they will be defeating the um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, now, could Tampa Bay come out here with a win? Yes, they could. I wouldn't surprise me one bit if Tampa Bay wins this game. Um, but I, ha I'm gonna, I think Green Bay has learned their lesson to not take this team lightly, and I think they've learned a, fuck, a couple of things from this team. I think they're going to come out with a win in a close game. Seattle versus New Orleans. Um, I think this could be a good game. Uh, these two teams did meet last season, the 2018 season, and I believe the Saints just pretty much dominate. Not really dominate, but still won the game kind of on them in a way. I think this would be a great game. I think it's going to be a close one um, between Russell Wilson and in this in the Seattle Seahawks and Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Um, of course, I'm hoping to God Seattle can win this game if this game even happens. Um, you know, but I I do th I I don't know if Seattle can really hold on to it much. And I personally think that New Orleans will move on and get the win against Seattle to move on to the NFC Championship game, which will be. Um, Means they'll be going to the NFC Championship um, after not really a long wait because they did make it in that in the playoffs um, two seasons ago. You know when they played the Rams. You know that was a great game, by the way. Um, yeah, now we have our conference championship games set: AFC Championship, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills, and the NFC Championship between the. Um, Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints. Now, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you what right now. If this is your conference championship games, oh, I would be so hyped up and all oh, it would be great games. I think these would be fantastic games if this happens. Um, if these are the conference championships. These are going to be great games. Now, between the Green Bay Packers and the New Orleans Saints, I believe they played each other early in the year. Let me look it up. I'm going to look that up. Yes, they did, and Green Bay did win 37-30. Um, oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Give me... Give me Green Bay in a close one. I think this is... Now, this is going to be a great game. Don't get me wrong. This will be a where is it? Where's Green Bay? Oh, there they are. Um, I think this is going to be a great game. Um, but I do think Green Bay will win the NFC Championship game. They will be your NFC champions. And yeah, I think they will win this game and move on to be the NFC champs this season. Um. Which will be for the first time in, like, what? When was the last time they won an NFC? Ch Let's see. NFC Championship for Green Bay. They made it last... Green Bay made the NFC Championship game last season. But when was the last time they even won? Okay. Green Bay NFC Championships. Hold up. Alright, they have won... Wait. I think the last time... Let's see. History. List of NFC... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The last time the Green Bay Packers won the NFC Championship... Was 2010, and in that season, you know, Green Bay did win the Super Bowl against, um, who was it? It was, I believe, the, I 
I don't remember who it was. Steelers, Steelers. Oh my god, it was I'm sorry. It was the Steelers. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I'm I am dumb. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, anyways, I have Green Bay winning the NFC championship. And yeah. Alright. Moving on to the AFC championship between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. Let me tell you what, if this is the AFC championship game, I have to live stream for it or something. I'll try my best to if this is. But anyways, I think this would be a fantastic game. Fantastic game. I think this game would go down to the wire, a team with their like last chance of hope to go to the Super Bowl. I think this would be absolutely fantastic. It would be a classic showdown, um, and I, I just think this would be an amazing game. Now, um, yeah, but I'm telling you what, man. Buffalo is such a scary team, and they are really, really good. And I, you know what? Give me the Buffalo Bills to win the AFC Championship against the Chiefs. They are your, I think they are going to be your NFC champions. And my Super Bowl is the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. I think this is going to be your Super Bowl 55. Now, let me tell you what. This would be a great game. Aaron Rodgers and Josh Allen. I'm telling you what, this would be a good game. And um, if this does happen, I would be rooting for the Buffalo Bills. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge. I'm not. I, I'm kind of. I'm not a have. I, I honestly, I hate Green Bay. I'm not a fan of them. I just don't like them. I hate them. Um, let me just say. Oh, hold up a second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me make a duplicate out of this so it makes it a lot better. I did not realize that. I, re I just realized that till now. Okay, hold up. I don't know why I'm doing this. It's kind of pointless and stupid, but whatever. Just to make it look cool and good and everything. All right, there we go. Anyways, I think this would be a great game. Okay? Now, Green Bay has won a Super Bowl before. So that's one reason why I'd also be rooting for Buffalo. Because they never won it. But also, I hate them. I'm telling this. Oh, you know what? This is going to be a great game if this happens. And you know what? I'm going to take it all. Give me the Buffalo Bills to win this game, and give me the Bills. To be your Super Bowl champions. Yes. I think they are going to win the Super Bowl. When their first Super Bowl. I believe this is their. this. If they win the Super Bowl. This will be their first Super Bowl. I know they have an NFL. Cha I know they have like an AFL championship or whatever. I believe they do. I can't. I can't. I could be wrong. But I don't think they've ever actually won a Super Bowl. So yeah. But give me the Buffalo Bills. To win Super Bowl 55, I think they will be your Super Bowl 55 champions, Super Bowl champions. And yeah, give me the Bills. I have a, I am a strong believer in them. They are a scary team. I think they can do it. And I, I just, I, I think they could do it. I think they got this. I think if this is, I think if they're gonna ever win a Super Bowl. Or if they at least have a good chance, I think this is going to be their year. Um, yeah, we'll have to find out, though. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait for the playoffs. They will be kicking off Saturday. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what games I'm going to go live for and how that's all going to work. Um, I probably won't announce that until Friday. Um, yeah, yeah, probably Friday, Friday. Yeah, I probably will announce that Friday. Um, 
yeah, later in the week on Thursday, I will announce who which team out of all the playoff teams I'll root for, who my backup teams will be if, say, that certain team gets out, you know. So, yeah, so say for an example, I'm root for Seattle out of all these teams, but they lose, and my backup teams are like Buffalo, Kansas City, and stuff like that. Then obviously those would be my two backup teams. That, that for example. So yeah, thir- so yeah, Thursday I will announce what team I'm rooting for, and then Friday I'll announce what games I'm going to like, going to go live for, and how that's all going to work. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it, y'all. Thanks for watching, Buffalo Bills. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, good luck to all the playoff teams. Good luck to Kansas City, Tennessee, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Buffalo, Indianapolis, Green Bay, Washington, Tampa Bay, Seattle, L.A. Rams and New Orleans and Chicago. Good luck to everyone in the playoffs. Um, yeah, that's but that's all I gotta say. Good luck to everyone. Um, this is gonna be a fun playoff as usual. Always look forward to the NFL playoffs and yeah, that's all. I gotta uh, that's all. Buffalo Bills, my Super Bowl Fifty Five chance. But anyways, y'all, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed and. Uh, Yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, y'all. And, yeah, peace out.